How we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here and we've got just one question for you can a nurse survive the zombie apocalypse how we doing guys welcome I hope everybody's having a wonderful wonderful day now apologies about the last episode and having to do a bit of a jump and run on you guys there it is four o'clock in the morning but I had to I couldn't not double loot the Cracker Book store because there was some good stuff in there. We got so many schematics and books and my guy likes books. He likes a good read. So I managed to get the advanced bellows, which I've now got into here. Got myself a bit more forged iron as well. Now, the one thing I wanted to get done was some electric fence posts, but... We still can't do that. We haven't got the schematic for that, but it's only one point higher in advanced engineering. So we've got two skill points. So I'm going to put one into there straight away because today we're going to go and work on the horde base. So we're going to be about the horde base and then if we've got time, we'll come back and do some work here. Now, we do have some cement on the go. And if you want to know about the inside joke on cement, go and watch the live stream. Uh, we've got a bit of this. Now we've got plenty of cobblestone. We'll take that with us. Stone. We'll get a bit more on the go, but um, stone and sand is going to be our limiting factor. Mining is not a strong suit for this guy. So we could really do with finding one of the construction houses. That would really, really help us. And we also need to find a bear because we want to get this cigar. Um, are we going to spend... Right, we can now make those. In fact, they're actually really cheap. So let's get two of those on the go straight away. We don't need to install them today, but we can get them done on the way back. Uh there we go, two of those, yeah. Um, are we going to spend the last skill point or are we going to leave it in there for a rainy day? At the moment, I don't know what I'm going to spend it on. I would like to make a better stumbaton, but... But, 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 that means going into... Uh, this one here, Lexcutioner. So at the moment, if we put a point into there, we can make a level 3, which can have two mods in it, which could be could really help us the problem is to make a stumbaton we need stumbaton parts and this is the only one we found so far so i'm not going to put a point into there yes it will help us do more damage and we'll be able, be able learn how to speak be able to make a better one we've got this one here as well we are we've got two of these so we're definitely going to be taking those with us and making use of them i think we're going to keep hold of it at the moment an extra, if we get the cigar, that puts us an extra point into here, which means we can go into Sexy Saurus Part 2, Athlete. So, yeah, I think we're going to do that. Right, I'm going to eat for once, because my food is halfway down. Two of those. Grab my wire tool. That up here. Wire tool. Perfect. Yeah. Let's get cracking. Right, here we go, guys. I'm just building myself a land claim block because chances are the zombies would have respawned in here. Yep. Oh, a bit of a pain. Right, come on out, boys. Fact. Let's not do the silly thing. Hopefully, they'll just come straight up here. Yep. Come on up. Here you go. Come on, boys. But the cafe building there in the background, parts of me wish I'd actually... Ooh, look at that. <laughs> and send you flying. Fatality. Oh. That's where we actually built our base for the thousand sub live stream and to be fair i kind of wish i had done it in this one as well 
Wug. See you there. Let's see if we can get a bit sneaky. Oh, beautiful. We got another one in here? No, I think that might be it. Right. So I've made myself the land claim block. So we're not going to have these kind of issues again. So let's get that. Was there anybody downstairs in this place? Yeah, there was. Okay, we'll let them come on up. We're going to wrench up those cars in a minute as well because that could be risky business. We don't want things blowing up underneath us. Uh, if I... Where's my wrench? Take you apart. That's where your land claim block is going to sit. So... Have you made it up? Oh, yeah. Oh, here he is. Never a happy worker. Right. Wait for you to get back up. That's the downsides of this repulsor mod. There we go. Perfect. Land claim block. We've got the sleeping bag at the other place. Right, has somebody got stuck down here? Halfing of these guys. Oh, we've got two of you stuck. Okay. Not much in your view. This thing is savage. Reminds me of Iron Man 2, actually. The guy with the big whips trying to be Indiana Jones. Right. So... We need to, obviously, make some protection around here. And that can easily be done. We need to take those pillars down to the ground. And we need to make this wider as well. Right. Okay. Time lapse time. Right, you should be able to see now what we have going here. Things are starting to take shape. Now, I've decided I want to put these electrical traps slightly further back, which means I need to extend this tunnel, which hopefully isn't going to cause us too many issues. But rather than knocking out all the stairs, I needed to make a bigger area around here anyway. So, annoyingly, they've turned these all into half blocks. So, I've got to... Put these in and then work our way back. So I'm just going to carry on knocking these out for the second and replacing these so we don't have an issue collapsing. There we go. So I'm going to do... Oh, hello, Loza. Boy, it just slices off their arms and stuff, doesn't it? This thing's good. Bloody hell. Right, let's... Um, 
leave you up just in case we get any more surprise visits like that. So yeah, I'm going to knock out this block, this block, and this one that Loz is now in. And we're going to extend this tunnel. You see what I've done here with the front? So now, if they try climbing on top of each other, they'll just get pushed back like that, like we are there. So that's all good, but we're going to extend this tunnel. So see you in a minute. Right, as you can see on the screen, we've just had an airdrop come in, so we'll definitely go and, go and grab that. So you can see what I've done here. Just going to make this tunnel a little bit longer for us. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do on the roof yet. I've got to see, I'll check in a minute, if we can actually make turrets yet. If we can make a shotgun turret or an SMG turret, that will sort those flapping turkeys out. Right, we're out of wood, so I'm going to go and sort that out in a second. But yeah, we're probably going to keep... We're definitely not going to keep that one shut at the moment, because it looks like we've just invited another friend over. Hello, you. There we go. We've got a whole wandering horde coming over. Well, some walking XP. Now, I thought this was going to be a boring building video. Right, let's go. Well, that was a bit of fun. Unfortunately, this is, the, this is the issue with the hatches. And we are gonna, we're going to be getting rid of these hatches. They're the strongest thing we could have made to begin with. But we've got a bit of cement now, so we're probably going to be turning these into bars. Let me go and chop down a couple of trees. I need to start planting some trees around here as well. In fact, I'll go and grab the airdrop at the same time time so we're going to use that let our tennis knee have a bit of a break and then we'll um, go and grab that airdrop and um, chop down a couple of trees on the way well unfortunately that airdrop has landed itself right in the middle of the sea again so I'm in no hurry to go swimming out there just for a tiny bit of canned food. So that can stay right where the idiot in the plane decided to drop it. Tomorrow we got the horde, so as long as we get the bars set, get the first set of concrete done today, and then tomorrow we should be able to get them to reinforce. If we do that first thing in the morning, then we should be, should be all right. Fingers crossed. Right, so we can actually make the SMG turret, which is usually the the better of the two for the vultures. And we've got plenty of 9mm rounds as well. So, okay, yeah, we're going to put... That means we can fill the roof in, which will all be nice. Uh, got to do that bit as well first, though. Now, I'm going to make the electrical wire traps that we made earlier. I'm going to make them come across where that first hatch is that you can see there. So that's where they're going to get shocked. So they're going to get shocked twice. We're going to be shocking them with our stick. And we're going to put a wire across here to shock them. So I'm going to have to knock this out and put some arrow slits into there so that'll be the next thing to do and we're gonna have to take out these two here but we need to make another way of getting up here because if not then we're gonna have an issue so let me just quickly take those out 
Right, beautiful. There we go. Right, we need to get these arrow slits in. So let's put that to advanced rotation. We've got to make these with wood. Uh, there we go. And now this side. There we go. Right, perfect. Okay, we'll upgrade these. You, you can have the wires going through blocks, but I don't know. I, I prefer it if, if we can do it properly, then I prefer it if we can. Now, where I've put these is now actually in the wrong place. So if we take those out, uh, we need to go back to normal blocks. It's always good to have this support as well, because this can collapse right. Now, I'm going to put the wires one back, and you need it down one level. So we'll put this like this. I'm probably going to use a trip wire in front of it. So let's get these ones back again. Now we've got the land claim block here. I'm probably going to... Uh, there we go. Probably going to literally bond this to this wall. Block all of that up, but that'll be... a uh, That'll be a job for tomorrow, not today. Right. Beautiful. So we've got that done. Now, if we just need to make sure... Yeah, that these ones are safe. Let's get these ones quickly upgraded. How are we doing for cobblestone? Oh, plenty of cobblestone. Plenty of cobblestone. Perfect, right. So now what we can do is come over here. What do I do with those electrical traps? There they are. And you see how high they sit up two blocks? So we're going to put one there and one there. And then we're going to be wiring them. What do I do with my wire tool? There it is. And we're going to be wiring that one to this one over here now I've there we go beautiful but we need to get obviously power into that so we need to use the generator which I probably forgot to bring over yes I forgot to bring the generator over but that's not a that's not a big problem we can do that tomorrow that's a really quick fix so I'm going to enclose all of this but probably not for tomorrow night because you can have issues with cops fit and stuff like that, but it is only the day 14 horde. Now, what I am going to do, though, is knock out... Knock out this. Wow, that took an absolute age to do. Right, where are we going to put Timmy the Mallet? Because he's one thing that I've never really used in the game. I've never been overly impressed with him, but um, as we're newly become nerds, where are we going to put old Timmy? Hmm. Now, I know he can set off the demolisher's button, but we haven't got to worry about that at the moment, because that's not till game stage 150, so we haven't got to worry about that straight away, which is something good not to have to worry about. Right, we'll turn these into proper steps in a second. Just thought we'd quickly upgrade this, because we've got to take out another one of those hatches, and that takes an absolute age. Those things are so strong for not a lot of money. Not a lot of iron, which is the currency we're working in at the moment. Right, there we go. Right, we'll put those to stairs in a minute. So, where are we going to put old Timmy Mallet? Oh, no. There he is. So we've got a level 1 one, we've got a level 2. Um, are we going to build another platform for him here at the side? Hmm. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments where you think I should put old Timmy Mallet, because... um. It's an interesting one because 
Yeah, he helps Finn down the horde. But we've all we've already got the repulsor mod that um sends them flying. So at the end of the day we need them to get up here. Else the horse just gonna go on forever. So Yay. You guys might have used him more than me. Let me know where you think we should put him. Maybe make a little ledge for him. One side. Because once we upgrade, we can have two of these going at a time. So maybe have two of those going. Maybe one of the normal turrets that shoot. Um, oh, you bugger. Oh, that's going to send my OCD right off the wall. Right off the scale. Okay. Right, there we go, Cole, that's annoying. They're all going to end up concrete anyway, so it's not going to matter. Right, our first line of defence needs to be where this hatch is. Do we do one more night of hatches and then go to the pole defence? We've really got to make that decision now because we need to concrete it if we're going to do poles. Um, maybe a little bit claustrophobic, that isn't it? Yeah, let's make that one higher. Go on, then one higher. We've got the room, so we may as well expand. Put an SMG turret up here as well, which we're going to make overnight. We've got all the stuff to make that, so that's not going to be a problem. I would have liked to have started using the motorbike by now, but the problem is we need steel. So we can't make a crucible until we're five out of five, I think, in advanced engineering. So we do have a scare a spare skill point so we could actually make uh where is that one gain 50 percent uh yeah you can um make crucibles learn to craft smg auto turrets for the best range defense and crucibles yes yeah, so we can make crucibles and we're about to get another skill point so we could actually have a crucible by tomorrow which is what the whole idea that I had for this playthrough was this kind of idea that we could do the building side really early in the game, but we weren't going to have the strength and mining and things like that. We needed to do by either buying it from the trade and making more money. So we're starting to get there now. What I didn't really take into consideration was the fact it was going to cost me 18 skill points at the beginning to get myself up to 10 out of 10 in intellect and those first 18 skill points they make a big big difference they make a huge difference because they're the easiest skill points to get in the game so for the to begin with we were we were way behind right there we go so we got the skill point i thought i may as well use the beer as we had it there to um help us out with but it doesn't mean we're going to be blurry right wooden poles advanced engineering right there we go so we're going to have one going backwards like that and one there we don't need one there because we've got the block above it Oh, I'm going to put one there anyway. Better be safe than sorry. Right, these are going all the way up. Let's get the light on. These mean that we can hit the spider zombies or any of those bloody poodles that have been a nightmare for me down here. So that's all good. Right. Now we need to make another way up here else we're going to have all kinds of issues. Um... Does mean that we're going to need to knock something out there. Right, let's get these other two poles in. It's the only downside. I do love the hatch design because you can get in and out of the base really easily. Right, there we go. One there and one there. Simple as that. 
It's like you need these to be reinforced concrete. They need to be reinforced and you want to do the ones at the side as well. So that will do these that side and that side as well. Can we reach there? Look at that, beautiful. Go, go, gadget arms. Right. Last thing to do then is to make a way in and out of this base. Hmm. Right, there we go. Beautiful. So we need to make three ladders. I think it's three. Uh, no, it's probably going more. Right, we'll do one there, one there, one there. So let's make two more of those. Uh, no. There was only one more. There we go. Up we go. Beautiful into here. So we need to tomorrow. We need to or over the over tonight. We need to make an SMG turret to go on the roof somewhere here to sort out these flapping turkeys. I want to make this a little bit wider. We need to definitely come back and upgrade these to reinforced concrete. That needs to be done as early as possible. And then also we need to really upgrade those these ones here to cobblestone so we don't have any issues with those and probably cut down a couple more trees you see that one there yeah there we go if i can get these covered up by tomorrow then i will but there's no guarantee of that perfect right well i think that's a good day's work I think that was a good job right let's make sure i put back the things that i definitely need to keep here so we've got the electrical one there yeah we've got that got all these blunderbusses here we've got the 762 over here there we go put those there to repair the electrical traps we need uh forged iron and electrical parts so we're going to keep those there as well and i've made a big mistake god those are already dry uh, dried while this is wet i need to knock this out i need to be able to get to these electrical electrical traps and we can still yeah just about reach that one so Right, that's going to be a job for tomorrow. We're going to knock that out. Guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I know building episodes are not for absolutely everybody. Some people love it, some people hate it, but unfortunately, it's the nature of the game. Personally, it's one of the things I like to do the most in the game is playing with all these designs and seeing how far we can take things. If you haven't ever seen Kraken's Castle that we built in Alpha 18, that's a good video to go and check out. Self and super cool spend um, quite a bit of time on that one. Just having a bit of fun with the old parcel themes. So come and check that one out. It's um, Alpha 18 rather than 19, but it was still a pretty good base. Right, guys, that's what I'm going to leave you for today. Big thumbs up on the video, as always. Any comments, put those down below. Let me know where you want, where you think Timmy the Turret should be going. Oh, Timmy Mallet. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.